good morning. So this morning we're going to learn a strategy or a tool that can help us when we're trying to push through and persevere in a math problem. And this tool is going to help us with justifying our answer and justifying <laughs> our reasoning. Okay, so first I want you guys to look at the problem that's on your desk. And we're right here, we're going to read the problem. So just like we do with our spy talk or in a small group, I want you guys to read the problem with your group and really be listening to each other as well. Okay, go. <laughs> Waterfall. So right now we're just thinking about our problem. So we've read the problem. Now we're going to identify the question. So thinking about what we just read. I'd like you guys to collaborate and I want you to all come to an agreement or a consensus on what is the problem asking us. And do you agree? Okay. And how do you know that that's the question? Because like, it's, um, it's asking how many kids can you see us now and we're solving it after we need a 14 dollar plan. No, because what we did was this, uh, um, they're just talking about how much they have left, so we have to, they have to, like, so we have to figure out the numbers. Can we all come to a consensus that that's what they're looking for us to find, is how many video games are there left? Okay, so now we're going to turn to our whole part map, and the whole problem is asking us one specific question. So take your map, and on the left side of your whole to part map, so your map should be on the left, and then your blank space should be on the right, I'd like you guys to write down that question, that whoever the scribe is at your group. Right now we're doing our thinking about the problem. We've read it, we've identified the question, and we've put it in our whole section on our whole to part map. And now we're going to reread the problem and identify the key information. So we're going to use our tool of highlighting to identify that information. When you guys are collaborating, I want you to make sure that you're coming to a consensus and an agreement that this is the key information that we want to highlight. So you're going to go through, identify that information, use your tool, and the scribe will go through and highlight once you guys have come to that consensus. So, 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 so right now we're just identifying the key information. So, 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 because you did. Now we're going to share out what you felt, what your group agreed was, were the key, the key information or the key pieces for this problem. So let's go ahead and start with group five. Can someone share out what you think? Equal number and to seven players because the, the store owner rents equal an, an equal number to seven players and then um, we all yeah. And the second thing? Three games in each case. Did you guys highlight the three games? Okay, so I'm gonna actually start writing down in my part uh, my whole to part <coughs> chart, we're going to start writing the parts of the problem that are going to help us solve this question. Three games. So the scribe is writing down all of these key details that we need, all of the parts that we need to solve the whole problem. So we've done all of the thinking and now we're going to do the problem. Okay. So now we're going to think about a strategy um, just think about strategies that we do in our class to solve past problems. So we, let's see, let's hear from group group one. An array. An array. And
then how about over back here at group two? Do we have another strategy that you guys use? Nice and well. You can make a list. Make an organized list. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do in your group is you're going to choose which strategy you need to do in order to solve this problem. The remaining games. Okay, now you need to write quickly. Because we're finish up. I think most of you guys are done with the solving part. So we are now, we've been doing the problem and you've solved it. So now we're actually going to walk around and do the avid strategy of a gallery walk. When I give you the signal, you're going to go over there and you're going to read what they did. You're going to look at their strategy and you're going to critique their reasoning to see do we agree with them? And if you do, write them a note and talk about how you agree with them and why. And if you disagree with them, I want you to critique and say, well, we did it this way and talk about why you did it that way. So put at least one post-it on the other group's poster. Okay, ready, set? Go. Wait, so go to your answer. The answer is 21. This is 21. No, it's not. Because you have to divide two, not family. A lot of people are doing Thank you everyone for returning back to your original group, taking a seat, and everyone should have done a nice critique of each other and their strategies. So we started with our thinking and we thought through what are they asking us? What was the question? What was the key information? Then you guys were able to do the action and you did the, all the doing stuff, right? You solved the problem, you figured out what strategy you needed, and now we're going, we critiqued other students, and then we're going to write to explain. So what I'm gonna have you guys do when I give you the signal is go to your Google Classroom and answer the write to explain um, question for this problem. 